Matthew Modine, welcome to the 97 Ketri Breakfast Club. How are you? I'm doing very well. How's it down in Tampa? Always nice here. Come join us. There's a microphone. You're always welcome to come sit in as a co-host if you're ever this way. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. You know what else they have down in, in Tampa is the Wounded Warrior Project, the, the main home for Wounded Warrior, which is an organization I work with. You know, they help the, the kids get reacclimated that have been wounded in conflicts outside the United States and, and in America. Thank you for working with that project. We love our servicemen and women that service 24-7, Matthew. Yes, sir. Is there a personal reason why that organization is close to your heart? Well, I, I kind of got adopted by the Wounded Warrior Project. The first film that, that I did was called Streamers, um, wow. which was about the early part of the Vietnam War when soldiers just first started getting shipped out. And then, of course, Full Metal Jacket, and then the, the Memphis Bell, which was about the B-17s in the Second World War. So, And I come from a service family. My two, three of my brothers served in the Navy. My sister served in the Navy. My dad served in the Coast Guard. And my uncle was a B-17 pilot. Did your family ever say, hey, man, why didn't you choose to go into the military? Because you have such a huge family background of it. They're like, actor, where did that come from? Well, fortunately, I was born during a time of peace where there wasn't, there wasn't a call to action. I, I don't know whether, I, probably if I was 18 years old and coming out of high school during 9-11, I probably would have found myself over in Iraq. I bet you feel like an 18-year-old guy starring opposite Eva Mendez in this new <laughs> film, Girl in Progress. <laughs> Uh, nice segue. Uh, yes, I do. Um, pleasure. I mean, she was hired on the, on the film before I came. When they sent me the script, they said, uh, Eva Mendez is playing the lady who you have the, this, uh, this affair with. Could you see yourself in a relationship? Because I'm a married man with a, with a son in the film. So it wasn't, it wasn't hard to justify that as an actor playing a role. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, uh, let me think about this. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, I don't know about you. Are you married? I am. I've been married for 32 years. Oh, congratulations, Fantastic. Man. <laughs> a Hollywood marriage that sticks. Yeah. It's because I'm not married to a Hollywood actress. I'm married to a, a New Yorker, yeah. Well, how does your wife feel about you uh, starring opposite Eva? And you probably had some, like, love scenes and stuff. So there's, been a, there's been a lot of beautiful, smart, attractive women that I've, I've played opposite. And she just, she just knows it's part of the job. And when you say cut, I guess there's, there's obviously there's sometimes when actors take it a little bit too far. and When they have to say know. cut like ten times, you know you have a problem. <laughs> What about those times where you really do have to act because you're not into it with your co-star, with your leading lady? Yeah, I won't say who who it was, but I was I was on a set. We were getting ready to do a love scene. We were going to jump into a big bathtub, and, and I said, "Wow, it, it smells like hamburgers and onions on the set. What is that? Somebody's eating hamburgers." And she said, "The girl that I was going to do the scene with." She goes, "No, that's me. People <laughs> always tell me I smell like hamburgers and onions." And that could just ruin it. I mean, there's something yeah. about the scent of somebody that could just stop the whole thing. Roger, I think you missed your boat on the perfect woman. A woman who smells like burgers? Come on. <laughs> well, it's got to be burgers and cheese. I can either take or leave the onions. <laughs> what smell turns you on, Matthew? Oh, you know, maybe some clean dove soap. There you go. <laughs> Nasty. Not, that's the nastiest yeah. smelling soap on the earth. And oh, see, that's what on. I'm talking about. <laughs> Is this the scent can do it or they're need take it away? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd, you'd go for the hamburgers and onions. Yeah, exactly. Thankfully, Eva Mendes doesn't smell like hamburgers and onions. What does she smell like? It smells like uh, like flowers, like a nice spring morning. She smells like Florida. <laughs> After a rain. <laughs> Matthew Modine starring in A Girl in Progress. It opens this weekend, you know, for Mother's Day. It's a great movie for mothers and daughters who are trying to understand how to, how to get through that difficult time of a 16-year-old teenage girl. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for being on with us today. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Now you know what Eva Mendez smells like, Melissa. Ah, nice spring day in Florida. Hopefully you're not allergic to those flowers. <laughs>